Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this FCPX tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a spotlight sunlight effect. I made a video, a design video, a design intro video. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link on the screen. And one of the sunlight effects at the back of the uh, the um, intro, um, a few people have asked me how to make. And I, I achieved it with FCPX, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so here's the video. Yeah, that's the um, that, that sunlight spot effect. Spotlight effect is what we're going to achieve. So first of all, foremost, I'm going to want to make a white background, and I can do that by using the tools on the center bar right here. Now you can either press Command Five, and it will just default to the effects, or you can press the relevant button. For this in, in this instance, I want a generator, so I'm just going to go and find a white background. So I'm going to drag this over to my timeline, and I'm going to shorten it down to about five, six seconds. Um, it's just for demonstration purposes, that's all. So then I am going to want to edit this generator. I'm going to want to make it bright white. And we open up our inspector. We can do that by pressing the button here. Or by pressing Command 4, I think it is, on the keyboard. Yep, cool. Then I'm going to select the generator in the top. And then drop this down and select bright white. So now our background is bright white. Then what I'm going to do is go to my effects. This button right here, effects. Now I'm going to find a light. So select light from the left hand side and scroll down and find the spotlight. So I'm going to drag and drop this spotlight onto this generator, onto this bright white generator right here. Now bear in mind it is a spotlight, so it's going to be quite difficult to see. So now what I'm going to do is edit that spotlight. And I'm going to go do that by going after my inspector again and clicking video. So right here in this effects, I've got spot. And I can turn it on and off by clicking this blue little button right here. Um, and I can also edit that spot by um, by clicking this little arrow here to open up my editable options. However, before I do that, to make this more prominent, I'm going to make this background sort of orangey. I'm going to do it with um, something called teal and orange. So I'm going to find an effect called teal just by searching teal. And I'm going to drag that teal and orange onto this white as well so you can start to see that it's starting to come into um come into play now i'm not going to mess about with the teal you can sort of open it and drag the amount up if you really wanted to but i don't want to i'm going to leave it pretty standard and then um and then just minimize that what i'm going to do is i'm going to keyframe some actions for this spotlight so i want it to go small to big so the way we do that firstly is by keyframing the radius so select the generator go over to radius Put your your, um, your 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 playhead at the back at the start of your um, at your generator first. Go over to radius, drag it down to sort of zero or ten. I've got it on, and then click add a keyframe, little plus arrow on the right hand side, and drag it up to the end of the um, the timeline and drag the radius up to as big as you like, to as big as you want it. And I'm going to do 253. So now we're going to do the amount. So I'm going to drag it back down to the start again. And on the amount, I'm going to drag that down to the start. 10, 10.21, I've got it on. And click Add Keyframe. Then drag it up to the end. And then drag the amount up to something I'm happy with. And it's going to be at 80.26. You don't have to click Keyframe on the back end of it because it will automatically do it for you because I've already started the keyframe sort of process. Then I'm going to go contrast. I'm going to turn the contrast down to 2, 2.08, click add keyframe. And then as I drag it up, this contrast will make it go from sort of day to night type effect. So I'll drag your, your, um, your playhead up and then drag the contrast up and you'll see it go from day to night. Dragged it up all the way up to 92.03. Drag it back down to the start. And if we watch that now, it'll come in, it'll play, and it'll go from dark to light. Um, something else you could quite nicely add to that. Get rid of that teal, the search at the bottom, and then just type handheld. I use this quite a lot, actually. Um, handheld or hand. And drag this handheld in. And what it will do is it will give sort of um, 
the sun a motion type effect so it's moving cool so that's quite cool and you could edit the properties of of the amounts that it um, the handheld by doing shakiness and distance um, I'll just select the shakiness a little bit and then um, drag it back to the start and um, and play that out so yeah that's really is that easy like I said if you want me to do some more FCPX um, tutorials demonstrations or you're stuck with anything please give me a shout um, leave comments whatever you want to do thanks a lot for watching catch you later